Hello, my name is Andrew, guitar player for Three Pairs of Boots and your host. I'll be sharing some of my favorite recipes, and later in the show, I'll be joined by our lead singer, Laura, to perform one of our latest songs. Welcome to Cooking and Country. Welcome, Cooking and Country fans. Today, I'm going to be making a gumbo, seafood style, inspired by Chef Paul Perdome from New Orleans. So, let's get cooking. Here we go. Now, I'm not a professional chef, just a self-taught musician who likes to cook for his family. Before we get started, yes, wash my hands after playing the guitar. We're going to make the New Orleans version of a mirepoix. The French use carrots, onions, and celery. In New Orleans, they get rid of the carrots and add in the green pepper. So let's get started with chopping these up. We need it for both the gumbo and the rice. To get the cooking started, first step to melt the butter. Let's add the onions, celery, and the bell peppers. Give it a good stir. That's a beautiful smell. Next step, add in a little bit of garlic. The spice mix, shot of hot sauce, oh, in the pan, and the gumbo filet. That's going to be the hardest ingredient for you to find in my entire city. There's only one store that sells it. Gumbo filet is actually sassafras. That's really only readily available down in New Orleans, everywhere else. It's going to be a little bit harder to find. Let's give it a stir. The gumbo filet gives a very unique looking color. They have to stir for five or six minutes, making sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Stir constantly. Now, Let's turn down the heat to medium. Add in the tomato sauce. Five minutes, stirring constantly once again. Scraping the bottom of the pan. And now, let's add in the stock. Bring to a boil, and then turn it down and simmer for an hour. While the gumbo stock is simmering, we can make the rice. Just combine all the ingredients together. Rice, a little seasoning mix, some melted butter, a little bit of the New Orleans Holy Trinity, onions, green peppers, and celery. Some stock, mix it all around, cover with foil, and into the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Make sure to check it. When the liquid's all disappeared, the rice is probably done. Let's 
get back to cooking. I think it's time to put the seafood in the gumbo and check on the rice. Alrighty then. Now you know, I really like to cook. I love to eat. So, this is the best part of the whole show for me. For the gumbo, start a little bit of rice at the bottom of the bowl. Then, ladle the gumbo over on top. And it's ready to eat. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks very appetizing. Mmm. Spicy, but not too spicy. Right on the edge, just where I like it. Very impressive dish that your friends and family will really love. The crab just kind of falls apart, floats around, really giving it great flavor. Thanks for joining me. I think I'll go in for another bite. All right. Now that the gumbo is all done, time for us to play a song. We're going to do one off our last record. It's called, Hey, I'm On My Way. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for listening on another episode of Cooking and Country. We will see you all next time.